Okay, y'all, so we made it back home last night from Rails Inlet, and I have to tell y'all, we walked in and I was like, Bunky, we get to live here. I just love this house so much. But anyway, it is Saturday. We have a very busy day because tomorrow's gonna be a really special day. A lot of you guys probably know that my sister is pregnant. She's having a little girl in June, and so my mom and I are throwing her her first baby shower tomorrow, and it's gonna be so beautiful. And my mom has this friend who has like a lot of land, and she has this really beautiful like white barn. And so you guys know my sister loves flowers hours as well as my mom and so her baby shower theme is like a garden party and it is gonna be so cute but it is supposed to rain so we are like praying the rain holds off so anyway I gotta run back to Trader Joe's and try and get some like flowers and stuff for like decorations tomorrow and then also we're gonna do some charcuterie so I want to pick up some like cheeses and fruits and things from there and then I also gotta find plates and napkins today and prep a lot of the food so we have a lot to do today Bunky's waiting for me in the car so let's go As Kate Costco would say, lightning doesn't strike, strike twice. Lightning did not strike twice. My Couldn't girl. resist the cookies today. Look what they finally have. Mm. I've looked for that for months. <laughs> is a dream come true. Today is the day that we have finally. It's been like two years. It's been, it's been a hot minute. I can't even remember, I cannot even remember the last time that we've had this. If you guys know, <laughs> this is my death row meal, barbecue king, fried barbecue mm. chicken. You know what's funny is we were just telling, uh, who were we telling about this the other day? We were telling uh, Dustin and Megan. That's right, yeah. And they were just blown away at the description that we provided. You know what we were talking, you know what brought it up? What? Uh, Megan was telling us about barbecue bread. Because yes. we, were, we were going on and on about this coleslaw that she made, which was so good. But uh, she was telling us about barbecue bread. And then it made me think of how they just put the slice of white bread underneath the barbecue fried chicken and it like sops up all that extra sauce. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's but so then, good. But then the bread itself is so good afterwards, so. My mouth jets are on overload right now. I was trying to remember when the last time we came here was, and I'm pretty sure it was like three years ago for my birthday. And what is hilarious is today, Saturday, but my birthday is on Monday. So it's like every single year for my birthday, this is my celebratory dinner. Or in today's case, lunch. <laughs> yes, it's your celebratory meal. Yes. But I know how to make a happy bunky, and it is with barbecue fried chicken. That is right. Okay. At last, long awaited. Oh, do you just smell that vinegary barbecue goodness, Bunky? Mm. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. The mouth jets. Oh my gosh, they look so good. I love their slaw so much because it's like such a fine slaw. Mm -hmm. Let me just tell you, they literally marinate this in the barbecue sauce, which is like a vinegary sweet. Oh my gosh, just like make your tongue tingle <laughs> kind of barbecue sauce, okay? Then they batter it, fry it, and dunk it back into the barbecue sauce. <sighs> it's literally the best fried chicken you've ever had. Okay, so we are back home now. Before I give you guys our grocery haul, I do want to say a big thank you to Wayfair for sponsoring today's video. You guys know we have some really big dreams and ideas for our backyard. We've never had a yard this size, and so we are so excited to just make it our little like piece of paradise and somewhere that we can go out there and just relax and enjoy. And you know, we want to extend our deck down below at the bottom. And one thing that I really wanted was Adirondack chairs, and I wanted a gas fire pit because I can just envision like all of our friends and family coming 
over and sitting down there and enjoying it and having like dinner outside. This is literally a dream of mine. So anyway, I started looking on Wayfair and y'all, they have something for everyone, no matter your style, your budget, you can upgrade any space in your house, all while getting a great value and super fast shipping. I have to tell y'all, I ordered this stuff and within two days, I had it all. I actually had half of my order the next day. And there's nothing I love more than fast shipping. <laughs> so like I said, the Adirondack chairs were like my number one thing that I wanted for our backyard. And you guys know we wanna pour a concrete patio back here in which these will sit on. But when I tell you they were so easy to assemble, it took Bunky like 15 minutes per chair. The quality is so good. I've always wanted Adirondack chairs. I can never say that word, Adirondack. <laughs> also, I just love the black because it matches like all of the black accents on our house. And it looks just so beautiful underneath this tree. I cannot wait to just like sit here and have tea in the afternoon. They are absolutely beautiful and they were such a good deal. Oh, and these came in quite a few different colors as well. Something that I was really passionate about was that I wanted us to have our own little herb garden at this house. And this one is perfect. It just fits back here behind our deck. We can come pick our fresh herbs whenever we're making dinner. And it is just so beautiful. I love this bottom shelf because we can kind of put all of like our backup things, pots, dirt, our shovels and gloves and things like that underneath. And then like I told y'all, we really wanted a gas fire pit and this is like my favorite wayfair find this one turned out so good it's beautiful once we have the concrete patio this is going to go down there but for the time being it fits perfectly up here it has this little door which will put the propane tank in we just got it set up and it was really easy to assemble it has like all of the different little shiny rocks so it'll be so beautiful at nighttime and today's my birthday so my plan is to sit out here and enjoy this amazing little fire pit tonight y'all i just could not love this more it was shipped to us in two days and i'm just so excited for all of our friends and family to gather around it and to have like cookouts this summer it's gonna be so nice so if you're looking to upgrade your favorite outdoor space for the summer wait for got you covered they have gazebos they have umbrellas chairs patio rugs they have hot tubs smokers grills like every single thing that you could possibly need for your patio they've got you covered so shop wayfair for all things outdoor on wayfair i'll have all of these things plus more linked down below in my description box i might have barbecue all over my face because we just like chowed down on that chicken and it was just amazing as always. Like y'all definitely still my death row meal, just so yummy. But anyway, we like got a ton of stuff at Trader Joe's. We went there, you know, for flowers for my sister's baby shower. And we looked out because they had, I mean, I don't think I've ever seen so many flowers there. It was wild. Yeah, it's impressive walking up. And they always have flowers, but like today, there were tons of them and they were all just so pretty. So that was great, got the flowers for the shower. And then I needed like some salami and prosciutto. Mom and I were talking on the way there and we decided we were gonna make like these little sandwiches, but it's at three o'clock. So we feel like a lot of people will probably like eat after church or like have lunch before they come. And so we're like, we just need to do like little box charcuteries and then we're gonna have like cookies and cupcakes i think that'll be just fine so a lot of this is actually just for me and bunky <laughs> i did show you all these though because i just feel like they are some of the prettiest roses i've ever seen they're called a garden rose and i love that it's like a little bit of that coral orange and pink together they look like a sunset if you ask me they're so pretty and of course we are not going to tj's without stocking back up on my dill pickle chips we got those some bananas I mean, let me tell you, wait, okay. Go I was ahead. thinking tell a second me. ago, because those bananas, I thought that it said 29 cents a pound, but they're actually 29 cents a piece. Oh. I don't know if that was actually like more or less than you pay at a traditional grocery store, but I thought it was a good deal. That's probably a good deal. I do feel like TJ's has really good prices on like oh, produce. Yeah, this honey crisp apple, it was, um, a dollar twenty nine. No way. Yeah, and those things are normally like three bucks, two fifty or three dollars a pound at the regular store. Yeah. So I think that um, for what that is, that's a good deal. They really do have great prices. Um, we got some potatoes, some feta. Now this I am so excited for. Y'all always hear us talk about kava, and the thing that we love at kava is their garlic sauce. So TJ's had this garlic spread or dip mm. i cannot try this 
And I want to do like Greek bowls for dinner one night and put that on there. Ooh, what if we take it? Because we also got sourdough. delicious sourdough. And by the way, these are like some honking slices in here. You know? I know, and that was a really good price too, I feel like for the sourdough. But I was just thinking we can like lightly toast this and then spread that on there and then just put some cheese on it. Bunky. And you got yourself like what might as well be a delicious pizza or flatbread. That sounds really good. Um, they also had like their version of like Chex Mix and it sounded really good. There's just like a sweet and savory, which I love. So I cannot wait to try that. Then I always love getting these little kale salad kits. There's like sunflower seeds in there. It has its own dressing. This one actually has like dried cherries and blueberries, which sounds amazing. And then y'all know I'm kind of in my carrot era. Oh, these are so pretty. They're all like different colors and we'll do like roasted carrots as a side dish one night. Already peeled for you. Yeah. And then this is for the baby shower, like little mozzarella. Pearl. How do you say that word? We're going to call it mozzarella pearls. Oh, how do you say this? Silagene? Silagene? Silagene. You are a silly gene. <laughs> I think actually somebody, when we were talking, this was probably like four to six months ago, we were doing something with mozzarella and somebody, uh, somebody actually referenced that? Reference that. I think they referenced that exact oh, that's type cool. of mozzarella cheese. If you know how to say this, tell us down in the comments. Um, and I got some grapes for tomorrow. Bunky loves to bully and they have a really good one at Trader Joe's. So he got that. You can eat this like crackers or on a salad, on a sandwich. It's really good. My boy Hans got me on that. Yeah, he did. And of course, you know, Bucky had to get his cookies. Those, by the way, I've already eaten about 20 and they were extra fresh perfection oh, today. Oh, okay, good. Like, they are worth, they're worth the, uh, Calories? They're worth the calories. Okay, now we got all of the different dressings over here. This sounded right up my alley. It's a toasted sesame dressing, and it has like all my favorite flavors. There's brown sugar, sesame oil, um, soy sauce in there. Oh. But I also saw where, not only would this be good on a salad, they said to use this as a marinade for chicken, and I was like, yeah. done, done. <laughs> That's like another fun fact about me. I used to go to McDonald's and get McDonald's salads a long time ago. Yeah. Um, and they had an Asian salad that had, I think it was that type of dressing on it. And I absolutely loved that Asian salad. And then I saw this one, it's a Romano Caesar dressing, which just sounds really delicious. And you can eat it on like, you know, romaine. But I also saw where they said to top like some roasted potatoes with this. Oh, good lot. Yeah, yeah. So I had to get it. And then Bunky picked up this green dragon hot sauce. I'm not exactly sure what yeah. this is. Well, it's like a, um, it's just like a green hot sauce, but I, I did look at the, um, cause you know, when I see it described as green dragon, I was thinking more of like an Asian style, mm -hmm. um, but I didn't think that's what it was gonna be. And it's apparently not, cause it has jalapeno and tomatillo, and then your cilantro, vinegar, all that good stuff, garlic, and so on and so forth. But I feel like this on steak tacos. If, if we, you know, get that skirt steak again, yes, and we have some steak tacos. That will be so good. Oh. Moving right along back here, we got some dried apricots. That's for tomorrow. Bunky got some toffee chips cookies. Yeah, those are like uh, basically like a Heath bar kind of, oh. but they are so 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 good. Okay. Like just sugar melting in your mouth with a little bit of chocolate. It's delicious. And then I uh, got some more, they've got me on these bottled juices right now. Well, he is loving them. Carrot turmeric juice blend. Um, I actually got into the the green one that we got uh, about a week ago or whatever. Yeah. I got into that yesterday. It was very good. So I thought that this one also gonna be very good. It's gonna be good for my eyes. Turmeric's good for your inflammation, That's inflammatory right. stuff. I so. drank some of that. And then we also just got a jar of minced garlic. Oh, oh. our little herbs. Yeah. <clears throat> so then while we were doing our flower shopping, I did a little herb shopping and these are organic. We're but, gonna be putting um, these in one of the things we bought. They were only, these were only 250, but I feel like for 250, these were pretty substantial little herb. And they look really healthy. Groupies, yeah, so, mm. 
They smell standing, so good. Standing back here this whole time, I can just smell these herbs. And yeah. So that was a good TJ's haul. We found some good stuff. Okay, definitely ignore the way I look because I have been sweating. Mom and I are actually at the place that we're going to hold my baby. My baby. <laughs> or the place that we are going to have my sister's baby shower. And it is so beautiful and we've been working hard and just getting everything set up and figuring out where the food's gonna go and the gifts and which table and getting chairs and just all of that but let me show you guys a little bit of the setup so far so here is kind of like the property where we're having it and it's my mom's friend and she has this beautiful amazing barn someone dropped off these like old vintage carriages are these not so cute we're gonna try to do something with these maybe like put flowers in them or something and then and here is where we'll actually have baby shower. We're thinking this is going to be food, seating, and then like dessert, drinks, games will be all over here. My sister will sit here to open gifts and she's a really pretty backdrop. Still trying to figure out what we're going to make this table. It might just be a pretty table. We have these rods that we're trying so hard to get like screwed into this table. And mom was going to basically make this like a huge flower arch pretty much, which would be beautiful but we're having a pretty difficult time with this one so we'll see we have this we're gonna put cards in but it's coming together and it looks so good Ready to plant some herbs? I've never been more ready to plant some <laughs> herbs, Funky. Funky's been working so hard well, today. But we've had this for a couple days now, and I really want to get them in the into the soil now that we have our little herb yeah. garden built. I look forward to uh, filling that thing up and then coming out here and having fresh basil and mint and oregano yes and dill. And tell them what mom was saying about the ones that y'all planted in your little makeshift oh, yeah. greenhouse. So that was like six weeks ago probably if y'all remember that video bunky did like a is it, it's like a milk jug greenhouse right milk, milk jug like seed starter greenhouse little thing um but we did that down in in the basement at the farm uh probably like six weeks ago if y'all yeah. saw that video um but those things are like this like almost the size of these now a lot of them are so then mom said they're ready to be planted mm -hmm. so she's gonna share uh some of the labor of love that I that I gave with us and we're gonna put them in our little I'm so excited yeah, that's so special y'all I'm obsessed like it's just so dreamy I almost like am contemplating even doing the concrete patio down here because I love the way those chairs look in the grass but I think it'll be nice to have some concrete so we can like put our grills and stuff down here that girl loves her new backyard I know, she's like running around like a crazy girl. Sniffing everywhere. It's cool that these are in here because it's like they're a little breathable. Yeah, and they probably uh, help with uh, draining. Like yeah. you probably can't really overwater it too much. Yeah. a silly question but you know how we grew the rosemary bush in Merle's Inlet and it was so big mm -hmm. is it like, like too big to even plant in one of these no I think you could put rosemary in here but you're gonna have to just kind of keep it uh pruned and clipped back probably yeah like a lot because or you know 
it might only be able to grow to the size of its container, kind of like a goldfish. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, you know how the goldfish. Because in Merle's, it had free reign. Yeah. As big as it wanted. That thing was like huge. I mean, if we hadn't knocked it back a little bit, it was probably like four feet tall and like three feet circumference. Yeah. Give our roots a little bit of. Love it. A little flex here, and then. Did your mom teach you that? Mm-hmm. I learned everything I know about gardening from her. Gardening. She actually gave me this little uh, garden tool set for wow, Christmas because so nice. she and I share the love for dirt. Yes. Nothing like some good dirt. Now let me just tell you, I'm excited for these herbs, but I'm looking most forward to having some fresh dill because y'all know I'm like obsessed with dill flavor anything. So the fact that I'm gonna be able to like grow my own dill and use it for recipes, I am so excited. <laughs> You know what, Bob? What, baby? Today is Earth Day. It is. And we've been out here just in the, on the land what all, a fitting day. all afternoon just doing our Earth. I always think it's so cool that my birthday is on Earth Day. Earth Day, Herb Day, baby. That's right. Earth Day, Herb Day. I love Earth it. Earth Day, Herb Day. This is so cute. I'm just so stinking excited to have our own little herb garden. I know. I want to get a... Uh, couple more get this thing filled in and then I you like dill a lot I love mint like the it way does that, smell that smells is just wild see and I love that we have this down here we can put all of our little tools and extra dirt and buckets mm -hmm. I'm so excited our backyard is definitely coming together Whew. lots left to do but we are getting there one bag of mulch and scoop at a time <laughs> <laughs>